One just quick point I wanted to make about that, though, yeah, yeah, sure, is sure. just just to say, you know, the FATF that um, Imran mentioned, those kind of things just remind me of the fact that, you know, like when they talk about IMF loans and structural, what is it, structural adjustment policies and ways to subjugate Muslim lands in other means. So sometimes we think, oh, um, it's a Muslim country. Why don't they do more? Um, or why don't they implement Islam or other things? It's mm. these little tentacles of the West that are in our lands. And that FATF thing is a tentacle in that mm. what it does is it says, look, if you stay in the grey list, that's fine. We'll we'll trade with you as soon as you drop into the red. We're not going to trade with you. But the saying is, if there's any organisation in your country that has absolutely any link to political Islam, mm. then it's quite easy to put them on that list and mm. say these lot are a terrorist organization. Remember, it's not the country itself that decide who goes on the list of terrorist organization. It Crazy. tends to be the UN and America. So mm. they can just sit on the outside and go, oh, you've got a movement in your country. And remember, they can do this to any country. They can turn around and say, in your country, there is a rise of Islam. It's linked to a particular party or a particular group. We've decided, not you, not you and your country, we've decided that that organization is a terrorist organization mm. just because it wants something different to democracy, remember? It wants something different to de democracy. We've now decided they're a terrorist organization. If you don't ban them, then we're not trading with you. And just goes yeah. to prove how difficult it is for a Muslim nation to continue to progress, especially economically, when those kind of pressures are put on them.